We believe that every developer can be an AI developer with the right tools and training. That's why we've launched GitHub Models on the GitHub Marketplace, a place for you to explore and experiment with a hand-picked collection of top models with entitlements attached to your GitHub account. So let's try out one of the newest models, GPT-40. We can pass in an initial user prompt to interact with the model, and we can use the playground to adjust the parameters. For example, we can change the system prompt and experiment with the temperature for more or less randomness. Now that we've adjusted the parameters, we can send user prompts to interact with the model, simulating its use for our application. Now GPT-40 looks great, but I want to test how a different and smaller model handles this scenario. So let's switch to Phi 3 Mini Instruct and evaluate its response. Looks good. Now we can also navigate to the details page to find out more information about the model through the README, Evaluation and Transparency tabs. Now I've made my decision and I want to start using the models with code. By clicking the code button, we get access to some getting started instructions. We can even use a GitHub code space to create a pre-configured development environment, ready with SDKs and some samples. Now the model API calls use the entitlements that come with my GitHub account. And because the code space knows who I am, I don't have to add an API key or sign up to any other services to start experimenting in code. Talking about experimenting, let's update the streaming sample to use Phi 3 Mini 4K Instruct. We'll also update the prompt and continue with our experiments. Now those entitlements we mentioned earlier follow you wherever you're logged in, including the GitHub CLI. Here, we're calling AI models to create questions for first year computer science students so they can check their knowledge of Git. But we can even combine other CLI commands with the GitHub CLI. For example, let's summarize the last 10 commits of this repository using Phi3 Mini Instruct. Hmm. GitHub Models helps minimize the friction as you explore and experiment with AI models. So take your first steps in building AI-powered apps by joining the waitlist for GitHub Models. We can't wait to see what you build next. My name is Rami Pruitt. I'm a software engineer at a fang company. And today you are watching a video from one of my live streams where I was reacting to GitHub models. And if you want to talk to me, if you want to have any of your questions asked from somebody who has been to Cornell, who um, got his undergraduate degree from a HBCU like uh, Fisk University, or I got it from Fisk University, check me out most Mondays. But other than that, let's get into the video. Introducing GitHub models, a new generation of AI engineers building on GitHub. We are enabling the rise of AI engineers with GitHub models, bringing the power of industry leading large and small language models to our more than 100 million users directly on GitHub. Let me ask you guys, are you using models in your day-to-day -day programming? For me, I would say I use it multiple times every single day. It speeds me up completely in all my different flows. Um, just because I'm able to ask questions, how does this look? Have you seen this before? Have you seen this bug? And it is extremely helpful. I don't think that it can replace me just yet, but I definitely see a lot of, of what is the word? Potential for it to do it. Like I can ask it questions that it has never seen before and it, it does pretty well. Um, so, from the early days of home computers, the dominant mode of creation for developers has long been building customized and deploying software. Today, let me see if I can do one more thing. There we go. I have my little light stand. Today, in the age of AI, secondary and equally important mode of creation and rapidly emerging the ability to leverage machine learning models, increasing models, increasingly developers are building generative AI applications where full stack contains back end and front end code plus one more one or more models, but a vast segment of the de developers still lack easy access to open and closed models. This changes today. I'm not sure if I agree with that statement that like engineers lack the ability to, to what is the word, 
reach models. Maybe I'm not the target people that they're talking about, but um, ChatGPT is free. So I'm kind of confused on what they're saying, but we are launching GitHub models, enabling our more than 100 million developers to become AI engineers and build with industry leading AI models. It's funny to me that they're saying AI engineers, like anybody who's using a model is an AI engineer now, <laughs> but from Llama 3.1 to ChatGPT 4.0, uh, in ChatGPT GPT 4.0 or 4 Omni Mini to 5.3 in Mistral Large 2, you can access each model via a built in playground that lets you test different prompts and model parameters for free right in GitHub. And if you like what you're seeing on the playground, we have created a glide path to bring your models to your developer environment in code spaces and VS Code. Once you're ready to get to production, Azure AI offers built in responsible AI, enterprise grade security, and data privacy global availability global availability with the provision throughput and availability in over 25 azure regions for some models it is never uh, for some models it has never been easier to develop and run ai applications i'm kind of confused i think i thought they were talking about like you running prompts are they saying like we're going to be building models in our code i thought we were just going to be asking questions but let's keep digging into it your joy begins in the model playground on github for most of us learning to be a developer didn't happen in a linear path in the classroom until practicing playing around learning through experimentation the same is true today for ai models in the new interactive model program students hobby and startups more can explore the most popular private open models from meta mistral azure open ai source microsoft and others with just a few clicks and keystrokes experiment compare test and deploy ai applications right when you manage your search code in the alignment with github and microsoft continues commitment to privacy and security no prompts or outputs in github models will be shared with model providers nor used to train and improve models i think that's going to be really good for enterprise customers i don't know if they can prove it they probably maybe have a, a version of the model running locally um but yeah i'm really happy to see more companies more enterprise users start using this stuff because yeah i think github in my opinion blows all the other all the other ides out of the water or github code spaces because you can use other ones but yeah, let me guys know in the comment section what you are using to to code in. For me, I would say VS Code most of the time, but do a lot of Java work in my job. So, uh, yeah. Every piece testing pair different models. Every piece of software is unique, and likewise, every model is unique in its capability, performance, and cost. Mistral offers low latency, while GPT-4.0 is excellent at building multi-model applications that might demand audio, vision, and text in real time. Some embed scenarios might require integration of different models, such as embedded models for retrieving augmented generation, retrieval augmented generation. So yeah, that's what I am going to be doing today, or what we are going to be doing today. With the suite of models, developers will have an option that they need to stay in flow and experiment more and learn faster even before. And this is just the first wave in the months ahead. As we approach the general availability of GitHub models, we will continue to add more languages, visions, and other models to our platform. Yeah, that sounds cool. Spin up Skull Spaces to bring your ideas to life. The fun that should just stay in the playground with power of scope hey, yeah the power <laughs> with the power of code spaces we created a zero friction path for you to experiment with models inference codes before dropping in on your own project with sample code for a variety of languages and frameworks of all types ready to go you can try out various scenarios whatever hitting works on my machine problems yeah work on my machine if you guys know like some if you guys have ever programmed in window windows it is a pain in the butt and so very happy to have GitHub code spaces where people can just install things one time and let other people come work on it. Then once you're ready, it's a breeze to get things running in your project, use the knowledge you've gained from the playground and code space to set up prototypes, a proof of concept with your own application, run prompts, evals, and GitHub actions with series of JSON files that you just pipe in your GitHub models commands with the GitHub CLI, where you can leverage GitHub models to build a co-pilot extension. Extend GitHub platform ecosystem with every stage of the software develop, development. 
And finally, go to production with Azure AI by replacing your GitHub personal access token with Azure subscription and credentials. Yeah, sounds cool. As an AI startup founder and open source maintainer, GitHub Models enables my team to access and experiment with various LLMs in one place. It streamlines our development and lowers the entry to bar barrier to building AI apps. Okay, it sounds like the models are going to be used in some type of programming way with RAG. Um, but yeah, I thought it was just going to be ChatGPT on the side. That makes more sense because it's like you can already go to ChatGPT. And the creator network of age of AI, from the creation of AI through open source collaboration to create, to the creation of software with the power of AI to enable the rise of AI engineers with GitHub models. GitHub is the creator network of the age of AI. The path of artificial general intelligence will not be built with the source code and collaboration of the interconnected community of GitHub. Will not be. Just in the last year, more than 100K generative AI projects were created on GitHub. GitHub Copilot is foundationally changing the speed software production, already writing nearly 50% of code in files where, where it is enabled. That's interesting, writing 50% of code. Like somebody, like I remember somebody told me like um, a year ago that in like three or four years, all the code is probably gonna be written by AI. And shout out to that. Like I'm ready for it, let's, you know, quit my job, man. <laughs> With GitHub Copilot Workspace, we envision a world where millions of novice and hobbyists and professional of us alike can code with entirely human language. And now with GitHub models, more than 100 million developers can access and experiment with new AI models where they already manage their source code issues, pull requests, workflows, and repositories directly on GitHub. In the year ahead, we will continue to dem dem demo <laughs> democratize access to AI technologies to generate a groundswell of 1 billion developers by doing so, we will enable 10% of the world's population to build advanced breakthrough with accelerating hum human progress for all. Yeah, so am I excited for GitHub models? I don't think it's doing anything groundbreaking, but to be honest with you, GitHub, Git, the tool Git is such a pain in the ass, to be honest, to understand all these commands. And I constantly have to look up Git commands in order to do my job. How long has this been on the screen? <laughs> my bad, guys. Uh, yeah, uh, I am excited just to have a model on the playground. I imagine myself using ChatGPT.